All right, let's take a look at question number seven. So in question number seven, you've been assessed on how to find the LCD of three numbers. Question seven reads, what is the least common denominator for adding the fractions four over 15, one over 12, and three over eight? I'm gonna show you two methods to accomplish this goal. And then whichever one you feel comfortable with, you can apply um, when you're taking your test, all right? So the first method, method one, involves using a table of factors. All right, so method one is table of factors. Prime factors to be specific. So what we're going to do is we're gonna, the goal here is when we, we wanna find the common denominator of 15, 12, and eight. Okay, those are the denominators. And the lowest common denominator is basically the smallest number that all three of numbers go into evenly. So using the method of table of factors, we're going to decompose the three denominators. So let's start with 15. We're gonna decompose it into its prime factors, all right? So three goes into 15 five times. And then 12, we can decompose that. Two goes into 12, uh, two goes into 12 six times. And then two goes into six three times. Alrighty, and then eight can be decomposed. Eight is even, so two goes into eight uh, four times, and then two goes into four two times. So basically we can write eight as two times two times two. We can write 12 as two times two times three, and we can write 15 as three times five. So now we're gonna make a table where we're gonna organize our um, prime factors but there's a specific rule that we're gonna implement when filling our tables, okay? The rule is as follows. You can only place identical factors in the same column, okay? That's how you determine what the LCD is. You can also use the table method to determine what the GCF is also, okay? All right, so let's start with the first uh, denominator, which is 15. So 15 has two factors, three and five, so we have the three, and five columns established. When we are placing the factors of other numbers in here, we have to make sure that they have three or five in order to be placed in the first or second columns, respectively, or we will have to place them in another column, okay? All right, so the next factor that we are looking at is 12, the next denominator. So if we um, decompose 12 is two times two times three, so we have a three there, so we can put the three here since it matches. And then we can't put a two here since this is a fives column, so we put a two here and then another two right there, okay? All right, and then for eight, the decomposition of eight is two times two times three, I'm sorry, two times two times two, so we put a two here times a two, and we need one more two. The first two columns have already been taken by three and five, so we just place it right here. Bam, okay? Now, the LCD is basically what you get when you read down all the factors and multiply them, okay? The way, the reason why we have it organized in this method is we wanna ensure that common factors are not repeated, okay? All right, so we have three and three, we bring that down, that's three, and this is five, and then we have times two, times two, times two. All you just have to do is multiply all these numbers together and that will give you your LCD. So the LCD is three times five times two times two times two. Um, we can go two times five is 10, 10 times three is 30, and then 30 times four is 120. All right, so the answer is option letter B. Okay, so that's one way to find the LCD. Another way to find the LCD is using the method of completing common denominators. Okay, all right, so um, let's take a look at this method two. This is much more applicable to, you can apply this to more advanced problems like um, dealing with um, rational expressions when you're adding or subtracting rational expressions. Okay, so completing common denominators. All right, so this is how this method works. It's basically the same thing, but it's more vis visual, shows you exactly what's going on. So we're adding four over 15, 
and 1 over 12 and uh, 3 over 8. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to express just the denominators as a product of primes. So express 15 as prime in its prime factor decomposition form. That's 3 times 5. We already used a factor tree to show that. And then plus 1 over 12 in its decomposed form is 2 times 2 times 3. And then 3 over 8. 8 in decomposed form is 2 times 2 times 2. Okay. All right. So now this is how um, the process works. We're going to try and make um, all the denominators identical. All right. But the rule is whatever change you make to the denominator, you have to apply that to the numerator also. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the denominators and try and make sure that they have everything um, they're all identical. Okay. All right. So we're going to start by looking at the first factor in the first fraction, which is three. Okay. Um, this one has one three, which is good. This has a one three, which is excellent. This has no threes. That's a problem. So we have to multiply the numerator and denominator by three. So all denominators have three in common. Now the first fraction has a five. So every other fraction should have um, at least one five. Okay. So this has no fives. Uh, we need to fix that problem. So multiply it by a five top and bottom. And the last fraction has no five. So you multiply by a five top and bottom. Okay. So every denominator now has a five, which is good. Now let's move to the next fraction. Um, it has two twos. This has no twos. Oh, that's not good. We need to fix that. So we multiply by two times two in the numerator and the denominator. This has three twos, which is excellent. So it covers, it takes care of that. Now let's move to the last fraction. This has three twos. So every denominator should have three twos since this is the last one. Okay. All right. So this one has only two twos. No good. We need to multiply it by another two. So it matches the last fraction. And this has only two twos, so we need to multiply by another two so that it matches the last fraction. All right, so you notice now the denominators are common, okay? And that is the LCD. So to figure it out, we're just going to multiply two times two times two times three times five, okay? And it's the same thing that we have here. Um, so we can go two time, three times, three times five is 15 times two. Uh, 30 times 4 is 120, and the LCD is 120. Taking the time to watch this presentation, really appreciate it. If you found the contents of this tutorial helpful in your preparation for the ACTs, do give us a thumbs up. Your positive feedback is very valuable to us. If you have any questions, comments, or special requests that will help you do well on the um, ACT, just place your questions in the comment section below, and we'll be more than glad to respond. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We upload videos to our page on a weekly basis. So subscribe so you can get notification of future updates. If you'd like to gain access to a wide variety of support resources to help you pass the ACT, do visit our website at matgotserve.com. Also take a look at the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.